And we're gonna drop our shoulders away from our ears. We're gonna align our spine, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Take a couple breaths with me in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm not on my usual reporter today. I'm on Zoom because I'm testing something out. I really wanted to do a meditation and affirmation for HS. To be transparent, this month has been very, very difficult for me. And uh, one of the things that I've been using and leaning on is meditation, yoga, and affirmations to get through these flares. It's been very difficult. And frankly, it's probably been like one of my lowest moments this year and just the pain that's surging through my body. I'm a lot better now physically. However, I want to use this opportunity to give HS patients and just people with chronic illnesses a video to help them through moments of inflammation, flares, and just moments where we feel we are discouraged. We're discouraged because of what's happening to our bodies, the things that we can't control. And I want you to know that this isn't your fault. None of this is your fault. It's not my fault, it's not your fault. And we are doing our best. And so this is us showing up. We, I believe in showing up for ourselves in the best way possible. And I've found out that showing up for myself is best through yoga, meditation, and taking time for myself. That's not for everyone. So everybody is not gonna do that. Everyone's not going to use those practices. However, for those who might want to, I do wanna offer this video as a way to affirm yourself and to just slow down. So right now I'm on my yoga mat because I'm, it, unless I would be on my bed. Like yesterday, if I did this, I would be on my bed because I couldn't get on the floor. I was very uncomfortable. So if you're on your bed right now and you're experiencing a flare or anything like that, this is not something that you have to get on the ground to do. This is something that you can literally sit in a chair, sit on your bed or sit on your yoga mat, whatever feels comfortable. Right now I'm sitting on two yoga blocks and so I'm <laughs> elevated and I'm lifted. But um, during this video, you're not gonna really need to look at me. You're just gonna need to listen to the sound of my voice. So I really want you to take a moment Grab some water, get comfortable, because we're going to get into this practice. And I'm super excited because I am introducing you into a world that um, is precious to me. And this is my first time really doing a guided meditation. I'm very excited because I've always wanted to use my voice and my experience thus far to help other individuals feel better about themselves and to feel better about um, what they're going through. So this is my first attempt <laughs> at this practice. And so um, thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through this. And I really hope that you get benefit. If you want to sage, light some incense, drink some water, get you some tea, something like that, whatever helps you to feel grounded and homey, you know, put on some aromatherapy, a humidifier, whatever you want to do, um, just take a moment and do that. So wherever you are right now, I want you to sit up tall as much as you can. My back is spasming again, so it's kind of painful. And one of my HS bumps is really hurting. I need to readjust this gauze. Excuse me. I know I'm thinking of my underwear. I'm sorry. Jeez, this is painful. <laughs> this is very painful. Okay. So we're going to sit and we're going to drop our shoulders away from our ears. We're going to align our spine, head over heart, heart over pelvis. <laughs> Take a couple breaths with me in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Ah. 
Let's do three more and through the nose. Out through the mouth. Go ahead and continue at your own pace. Struggling with sitting up tall. It's okay. There are a lot of people who are in your same position. If this is not something new to you, you might be sitting up straight and tall and feel very good right now, and that's fine as well. Make sure that you are gentle with yourself wherever you are in your practice. Let's take one more de deep breath, the biggest breath that we've taken thus far, and through the nose. Up through the mouth. And bat the eyes open really quickly. So right now I want you to set your intention and take a moment and think about what you want to get out of this practice today. Are you wanting to heal yourself from the feelings that you have when you have a flare? For an example, when I have flares, I often have feelings of hate towards my body because I can't control what's happening. So my affirmation or my intention might be to send love to my body. Pick your intention and set it in your mind and think about what you want to get out of this practice because this is for you. This is not about what I need. This is about what you need. So I'm setting my own intention and you can set yours as well. Just remember to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, or in through the nose and out through the nose. Once you have your intention, I want us to take a moment. So this is the part where you're going to hear me but you're not going to necessarily see me because i'm going to be laying down you don't have to lay down but if you want to you can if you want to stay seated you can if you want to lay down in your bed you also can do that as well if you're already laying down kudos to you okay so we're just going to take it back very gently we want to be mindful of what we're doing with our bodies we don't want to slam our bodies down we want to show our bodies love you want to relax because we're going to be here for a minute, okay? We're going to relax, be adjusted, comfortable. You can have your hands at your side, resting on the bed, resting on your thighs, whatever is comfortable for you. I want you to take a moment and listen to what's around you, whether that be kids, music, the noise from outside, whether that be your own heartbeat, your refrigerator buzzing, your thoughts racing, whatever it is, just take a moment and be present with what's going on around you and inside of you right now. Where are you and how are you feeling? Take a breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's take another breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Continue to breathe at your own. You can decide, you can let it out. If you want to breathe silently, you can always do that as well. Just take a moment to listen.
touch you again to notice what's happening in your body and also around what's around you. Usually when I do these affirmations and I meditate, I place my hands over the parts that are most affected. My groin area and my body area is extremely affected by hydrogenized supertiva. So I'm going to place my hands over my pelvic region. This is a form of sending your energy towards these spots for healing. Energy is very real. Intention is very real. So if your armpits are where you have most affected, put your hands under your armpits or all around them so that you can send that energy towards that space. I used to do this a lot when I was young and I didn't know that this was called Reiki healing. <laughs> of course, I'm not a Reiki healer, I'm not certified. However, I do believe in the transference of energy and healing energy. And that's what we're doing right now. We are transferring healing energy within ourselves to ourselves because we have the answers that we need. We don't need to go outside of ourselves to find peace, power, prosperity, and purpose. We have those things within us. So place your hands wherever your HS is most prominent. Feel the feelings. Take a moment and notice the ridges, the bumps, the scars, the pus that might be leaking from pressing against the wound. You notice how that feels to you. What do you notice? What comes up? Why do you feel the way that you feel right now? Just take a moment and be present with that, with that feeling. Remember to take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. You are safe to be breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. You are safe, you are loved. You are not in danger in through the nose. Out through the mouth. You have all the answers that you need in through the nose. Out through the mouth. You are perfect the way you are. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. You will find love, intimacy into the nose, out of the mouth. You will experience an orgasm. You will have sex in through the nose, out of the mouth. You are beautiful the way that you are into the nose, out of the mouth. You have HS, HS does not have you into the nose, out of the mouth. The universe, God, is supporting you in this moment into the nose. Out the mouth. I'll take a moment. Continue breathing. Continue breathing into the nose and out of the mouth. We're going to take a moment and we're going to take our inner thoughts and we're going to have a mantra, whatever your personal mantra is. I'm not going to share mine and you're not going to share yours. Think about an inner mantra that you want to chant over your body. We're still placing our hands over the affected area. If you would like to switch because you're affected in multiple spaces, feel free. Into the nose. 
Out of the mouth. It's okay. Take a moment, continue breathing, continue being present, and think about your mantra. Think about what you want to say as we begin to meditate. We're only going to do this for about five or six minutes, okay? I just want you to take five to six minutes to meditate with me today to be present and to send healing energy to these spaces of your body that are affected, whether it be chronic illness within your knees, whether it be through your skin, your brain, your mind, your lips, your buttocks, your vagina, your penis, your breasts, your underarms, wherever you are affected, feel that, present in that. Everything will be okay, everything is okay. You are safe, you are secure. Once you find your mantra, continue breathing. I'm gonna stop talking now. And I'm going to chant my mantra, okay? We're going to do this for five to six minutes, okay? Bear with me, stick with me. This is going to be for you. This is for you, okay? We're going to get started. Open your eyes. 
stretch your arms, open, slowly come back to the next one. Such a great job. Come back to the present moment, let your eyes open. Take a second to get grounded again. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Maybe two more in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. So something I usually do after I meditate is I slowly run my hands across my body, through my torso, across my face, to just feel my body, to get present and grounded again. You can lift your legs or if you're on the bed, just feel your legs and your body, feel your scars, Feel everything. We're going to do this for a few moments. Feel everything on your body. The pain, the goodness, lumps, the bumps, all of them, the scar tissue. Feel all of that. Take a moment. Feel your legs. Okay. And when you're ready, we're going to sit up in a nice, comfortable seated position. Okay, I like to turn to my side and be very mindful of how I'm treating my body. We want to move like we love ourselves. Come back to the present moment. Okay. Okay. Again, into the nose, out through the mouth, into the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth, let's take a moment, reach all the way up to the sky if you can, if you can't, it's totally fine, let's stretch, 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 look up, look up, look up, let's bring the hands together and come in to the center, bow our heads, Chin to chest, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Thank you so much for taking the time to take time for yourself. Thank you for meeting me in this space of meditation and affirmation. Come to this anytime that you may feel like you're lacking. If you feel like you're having a flare and you need a moment to be present. Because a lot of times when we are chronically ill, we want to escape our bodies, right? This is a moment for grounding. This is a moment to address the depression, the anxiety that we feel with these conditions that we have. I happen to have hydrogenous superativa, which is a condition that affects different parts of my body, the folds of my body with cysts and boils. And so this is a practice that I love to do to remind myself of how much I love myself and to show up for myself. So thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Try to show up for yourself every single day in the best way that you possibly can. Thank you so much. Namaste. I'll see you next time. <laughs>